This is uh, Mark's Geocache Adventure in uh, Algonquin Provincial Park. We it's are hot, sweaty cache. 1,500 feet up, something like that. We did a 300 meter climb. Oh, it was a good climb. It was a good climb. And uh, who found the cache? Lyric last found it. I went around one way, and she went around yep. the other. It's, and it's right behind us. It is a uh, not a Tupperware. It's a rubber made. A rubber made container under the rock right around here, and it's at the base of the cliff. And the view that we have, oh, we'll show you in a sec. We'll get another view because uh, this one's blocked by trees. Hey, hold that thought. We'll be right there. Ready? One, two, three. This is the view we're talking about right here. Take a Isn't look at fantastic? this. Fantastic. Taking a break at Algonquin's Lookout Cache because it's just such an awesome spot and I wanted to ask you Beautiful a question. Day. We always ask on the ends of our videos, where will geocaching take you? This is one of the spots it's taken us and it's a spot where you just want to sit and relax and just take it all in. Well also there right in front of us is a wild blueberry patch. We've had a little bit of a feed. Yep. You're not going to get full on it, but uh, that's one of the little perks. They're not quite, there's a few ready, not a whole bunch. It's one of the little perks you can do when you go on a hike like this. And some of the places geocache can take you. Where, where were some of the favorite spots? We've had to well, sit and pause. One of them was um, the Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame Earth Cache, uh, mm -hmm. southwest of Buffalo, New York. An amazing, amazing place. Um, the other place we went was Ohio, Kentucky, Ohio, Ohio border, where mm -hmm. we went canoeing and found a whole bunch of earth caches. Oh, the uh, uh, earth cache walk. Yeah. With ARF, a uh, uh, air raid fan. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, just below the dam, uh, north of Louisville, Kentucky. Something I've never done before. Gone up to the the one side of the dam where there's no water and touch the dam, and it's like. There's a gazillion hundred miles of, of water. water, thirty feet deep behind you, behind, behind your hand, behind and you're your like, hand. "Oh my gosh!" Yeah, that was an awesome. But Thank you, uh, a, a raid fan. Arf, that's a place you can get twenty to thirty earth caches in one go. And it's amazing because all the geology changes in the short periods of time that you're walking. You're like, "Why are there so mm -hmm. many earth caches?" It's just different the whole way through. Another place we uh, really liked was. A lot of people stop at Banff uh, Lake and they take a picture and then they go away. But we hiked the eight uh, kilometers in to do the uh, Plain of Six Glaciers Earth Cache and found... There's a tea house on top. There's a tea house right there at yeah. the Earth Cache. An actual, like a, a Swiss chalet, not a Canadian Swiss With chalet restaurant. Nice pies and yeah. sandwiches. They truck or, or they, they airlift tea. the food in most of the supplies in the beginning of the year and then each time a person goes out they pack 60 pounds of garbage and then they pack in 60 pounds of supplies that was an awesome spot and it's some place that our son to this day uh, our son is 26 now and uh, we went he was 18 mm. something like that when we first started geocaching is one of the favorite places he remembers we we hiked uh, 16 kilometers that day it was a long hike, but it was worth it. It's just it's amazing places like that and the views behind us here in Algonquin Provincial Park that geocache can take you. I mean, it can take you to a lamppost and you can have just as much fun at a lamppost cache as you can a cache like this. But this one um, is a little known trail. Like the general public doesn't usually come the on this trail. The secret lookout trail. We had to ask yeah. a guide how to find it. Although it was on my GPS and it wasn't on my CGO. But there's map. no trailhead. No trail. Uh, this is a gorgeous spot and we're all by ourselves yeah. on top of this hill. With a great view behind us and video and pictures will never do it justice. Just like, I mean... Sorry, you've really got to come here. I'm sure if when people go to the Grand Canyon, it's much better than what people see in pictures. All the pictures mm -hmm. are great.
Um, I, we, we've been to so many places. Uh, Hidden gems. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. We've been to some awesome places there. Um, I can't remember the names of them, but just so many places that geocaching is taking us. And that's why we like to do uh, is take you with us now on Cache Canada. Yeah. Because there's people that say, oh, I, I just can't get out anymore, and they like to watch where we go and see what's going on. Yeah, it's another way for people to live vicariously through Dave and Karen. So if you enjoy our travels, please subscribe and watch Cash Canada. Yeah, catch we're up, going more places. Catch up on all the videos and watch us as we go. And check out Cash Canada on Facebook. There's mm -hmm. weekly and daily updates, uh, contests, things to see and watch and do. Sometimes we even go live. And Yeah, we just did a couple live and uh, we want to see you out there. We want you to come with us. Check out the videos. Check out Cash Canada. Cash wherever you can. Cash Algonquin. Cash Ontario, New York. Cash Saskatchewan. Pennsylvania, Nevada. Mexico. Uh, Poland. Belize. Uh, Caraco, Venezuela. <laughs> Anywhere you can. Just get out there and cash. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not sure where we finished. Um, where you said, oh crap almighty. <laughs> we'll have to beep that out. Uh,